Hey friends, we have some news and you see it there already, Checkly goes full stack. Let me show you in this video how you can use our new heartbeat checks to monitor your scheduled server actions. These could be actions, for example, to clean up your database, to send custom emails, or really anything that runs on a schedule on your server. Sounds good? Let's get to it. But before I show you how you can create and configure heartbeat checks, let's talk about the heartbeat check concept. Here on the left side, you see your application that runs scheduled jobs, whatever they might be. And there on the right side is the Checkly Cloud with one defined heartbeat check. A heartbeat check comes with a unique URL and you now define how often you want this URL to be called by your infrastructure. So when you now run the first scheduled job, you can let Checkly know, hey, this scheduled job succeeded. And the same goes for the second one. And now if at any point in time your scheduled job fails to report back to Checkly, it will trigger an alert and we will let you know that something happened with your scheduled actions. So how can you create a new heartbeat in Checkly? Let's find out. I'm in the Checkly UI here and you can get started by hitting this lovely blue plus button over here and create a new heartbeat check. As always, give your heartbeat a name. Let's call this daily emails. You can give it tags if you want to. And here we have the unique URL that I already mentioned. Your scheduled jobs and actions have to ping this certain URL that we have here for this heartbeat check. Then you can go down and you can define the interval or the period that you expect your scheduled actions to report back to Checkly. In the case of daily emails, let's say that we expect one ping in one day. Additionally, you can define a grace period and I will show you in a minute how grace periods work with Checkly Heartbeat Checks. Define your alert settings for this heartbeat check, hit save and you're good to go. When you now go to the heartbeats overview, you will find the new heartbeat check that we just created, but it is not active yet. So to activate your heartbeat checks, you have to give them at least a single ping. So when we now take this URL and we make an HTTP GET call to this URL, we just activated our new heartbeat check and it now has the state received. From now on, the timer is running and if there is no HTTP ping in the time frame of a single day, Checkly will alert me telling me, hey, something is wrong with this heartbeat check. But this is only the UI way of doing things. You might know that we at Checkly are big believers in having everything stored in code. So if you want to put heartbeat checks in your monitoring as code setup, you of course can do that too. Here in the console docs, you will find a new heartbeat check construct. So if you're using the Checkly CLI or Terraform, you can also create heartbeat checks via code and implement them in your CI CD workflows. But what is it with this grace period? Let's have a look. If you created a heartbeat check that expects a ping every 60 minutes with a 10 minutes grace period and you activate it at exactly 12 p.m., Checkly expects the next HTTP call at 1 p.m. with a 10 minutes grace period. And of course, if now your scheduled actions run, they will not immediately ping Checkly because they have to run first. So if the heartbeat check comes in at 1.05, this will reset the timer in Checkly so that Checkly will then expect the next HTTP call from your scheduled jobs at 2.05 with 10 minutes of grace. So if now the next call comes in at 2.12 p.m., it will also reset the timer so that the next expected call will be at 3.12. But you might now ask what happens if you ping too early? If the next call comes in at 3.01, nothing bad happens because it was in this time frame of the period plus grace and it will just reset the timer yet another time. But if now a call is late, so after this call at 3.01, we expect the call until 4.01 with 10 minutes of grace, so 4.11, if there was no HTTP call until this time, this will trigger an alert and Checkly will tell you, hey, we didn't receive the heartbeat check, please have a look. And the send alert will then reset the timer for the next expected heartbeat check. So the next expected heartbeat check here will be 5.11 plus 10 minutes of grace because the alert was triggered at 4.11. And again, if there's now a ping because your script just took longer than 10 minutes to execute, this will reset the timer. So we will have the next expected call at 5.13 with 10 minutes of grace. And this will go on and on and on. The timer will be reset when there will be an HTTP ping or if there was a triggered alert. And as you can see, 
This is why it's very important that you choose a grace period that avoids unnecessary alerts. If your script or your scheduled action takes 10 minutes to run, you probably want to have a little bit more grace period so that you can avoid all these unnecessary alerts. And this is it. Checkly goes full stack. Use our API checks to monitor and test your APIs for correctness, uptime, and performance. Use our browser checks and control headless Chrome with Playwright to ensure that your front end is working as expected and that you're delivering a good user experience. And now use our new heartbeat checks to monitor all your scheduled actions and get alerted when something that is running on a schedule broke or is not working anymore. If you have any questions or feedback to all these check types or Checkly in general, make sure to drop into our Checkly community at checklyhq.com slash slack. And I will talk to you very, very soon again, showing you the next Checkly features.